Hello and welcome back. Okay, are you ready? Let's start. Ha habido un ligero cambio en mis planes. There's been a slight change in my plans. Only a slight change. I'm sorry. I know you don't like change. People don't like change in general. I like change. I'm not risk averse. Many of you probably are risk averse. Tenéis aversión a riesgo, a riesgo de cambio. But I'm going to make a change. Ya ha habido, there has been, contracción, there's been, there's been a slight change in my plans. And uh, because I'm not risk averse, I make changes. I, I welcome change. Because when change comes, it's usually for the better. Un cambio a mejor. Decimos en inglés un cambio por o para el mejor. Se dice literalmente. For the better. A change for the better. And uh, there's been a slight change in my plans. There's been a slight change in my plans. There's been, there's been, there's been, there's been. There was, ayer, a slight change in my plans. Tomorrow, there will be a slight change in my plans. And today, there has been. Contracción, there's been. Ha habido. El verbo haber, yo, hay. Hay un bolígrafo en la mesa. Ayer había un bolígrafo en la mesa. Mañana habrá un bolígrafo en la mesa. Últimamente ha habido un bolígrafo en la mesa. Habría dos bolígrafos si hubiera dos aquí. Ok, siempre there más una conjugación de verbo to be. There is a pen in my hand. Uh, a few seconds ago there was a pen in my hand. Now there isn't. Uh, tomorrow there will be, I guarantee you, tomorrow there will be a pen in my hand. Maybe this one, maybe another one. I don't know. But there will be a pen in my hand because I need a pen to teach. It's my security blanket. If I don't have my pen, I'm lost. So I have my magic pen, and this pen gives me power when I teach. So tomorrow there will be a pen in my hand. Y esta semana, todos los días de esta semana hasta ahora ha habido, there has been a pen in my hand. There. Más una conjugación de verbo to be. Ha habido un ligero cambio en mis planes. There's been, there's been a slight change. There hasn't been a slight change. Pregunta, has there been a change in your plans? Ha habido un cambio en tus planes. Has there been a change in your plans? Yes, there has. In efecto, that's right. That's right. There's been a slight change in my pan, plans. Slight. Ligero, leve, cambio, un ligero cambio. Light is de peso, es físico. This light, además de luz, okay? Y además de encender, to light a match, to light a candle, encender una vela, to light, como verbo. Light, como claro, dark and light. The darkness, the lightness, the daylight, la luz del día. The daylight, okay? Light. Pero light también es ligero. This pen is very light. This microphone isn't very light. It's, it's quite heavy, to tell you the truth. Light is ligero. Le pones un S delante y tienes slight. Y esto es ligero en plan figurativo. Un ligero cambio. Un ligero resfriado. Un ligero enfado. Okay, un ligero cambio. There's been a slight change in my plans. Okay. Quiero ser esbelto como tú. I'm starting to get a little fat. I need to take. I need to uh, to lose some weight. That's pretty well. I need to lose some weight. Uh, this job, teaching on television, so many hours, is a sedentary job. I simply sit here at this table, Tom Pancho, sitting in this chair, looking at you teaching us, and I'm not doing exercise. Maybe I should practice bending my arms and wait. So I say, hello, good morning. It's English class now. I'm here doing my exercises. Yeah, okay, maybe I should do that, but I don't. So I'm starting to get fat. I'm starting to gain too much weight. I need to go back to the gym. I need to go back and start doing exercise. I need to jog for 45 minutes every morning. I need to take a brisk walk every morning before I start work. A brisk walk, a fast walk, no. 
A slow walk? No. Brisk. Okay, como riesgo, risk, con una B delante. Brisk is a paso ligero. A brisk walk. Every doctor recommends a brisk walk. Maybe 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes every day. It's good for you, and it keeps you in good shape. Y quiero ser esbelto como tú. I want to be slim like you. Slim. Slim. I don't want to be fat. I don't want to be overweight. I don't want to be obese. All right? To be obese is to be grossly overweight. Grossly, gross has two meanings. Gross means que asco. Ooh, that's gross. Yeah. Juan Luis, what is this? This isn't water. This is a purple liquid. It looks gross. G-R-O-S-S. Tiene una pinta asquerosa. It looks gross. That's one usage of gross. Very common, especially among uh, teenagers, adolescents. Ugh, yuck, that's gross. All right. Second, bruto, en el sentido de producto interior bruto, the gross domestic product. Producto regional bruto, gross regional product, gross. Uh, beneficio bruto, beneficio antes de impuestos, the gross profit. Okay. Las ventas brutas, gross sales, antes de deducir IVA. Net sales, gross sales. Okay. Net weight, el peso neto, gross weight. If you buy a box of cornflakes, a cereal, breakfast cereal, cornflakes, it says on the package, net weight. Es el peso de los copos de maíz dentro, no el peso de la caja. Uh, including, the, that's the gross weight, gross. That's the second meaning of gross, okay? And gross, grossly means tremendamente, grossly overweight. O sea, tremendamente, un sobrepeso tremendo. Tremendously, grossly overweight is very, very, very fat. And then a person can be fat. And then a person is overweight or slightly overweight. And then a person is fine, slim. And everybody wants to be slim. And then after slim, you're, you're get, you look thin. Nunca se dice, oh, te veo slim. Estás bien. Si estás preocupado porque alguien parece demasiado enjuto, demasiado flaco, you look very thin. Are you okay? You look very thin. Have you lost weight lately? no? Have you lost weight? You look a little thin. Ahora nunca se dice you look a little slim. So you look slim. You look wow. You look nice. Eh? Wow, congratulations. What's your secret? Okay. Well, my secret is very simple. Dice el esbelto. I exercise well and I don't eat too much. I eat less and do more exercise. It's a very simple equation and it always works. I burn more calories than I take in. Three months ago, I weighed 117 kilos, and now I weigh 80 kilos. I've lost 37 kilos in three months. How? It's a very simple formula. Burn more calories, burn, la pronunciación, burn more calories than you take in. If you, if you take in more calories than you burn, you gain weight. If you burn more calories than you take in, then you lose weight. And I have lost, contracción, I've lost 37 kilos in three months. It's a lot, eh? Simply because for the, every day I have burned more calories than I have taken in. Okay, quiero ser esbelto como tú. I want to be slim like you. Well, it's very easy. Do what I have done. Burn more calories than you take in. Okay, gracias a Dios que las cosas andan sin sobresaltos oh, en esta televisión. Yes, every day I come here, I sit down, action, camera, boom. Hello, good morning, and welcome to Vaughan en Vivo. Y todo aquí anda sin sobresaltos. Es llamativo. It, it's really interesting because everything runs smoothly. Smoothly, smooth, smooth, liso. This table is not smooth. 
This table is, this table is a little rough. Rough is rugoso, aspero. My skin on this side of my forearm is a little rough. On this side, it's very smooth, okay? On the back of my hand is a little rough. On the palm, it's quite smooth. El dorso de la mano, la palma de la mano. Conozco Madrid como el dorso de la mano. O es como la palma de la mano. What do you say in Spanish? What do you say in Spanish? Conozco Madrid como la palma de la mano o como el dorso de la mano. Por supuesto, palma. But in English, no. It's the opposite. I know Madrid like the back of my hand. I know Barcelona like the back of my hand. It's interesting that in English, it's exactly the opposite part of the hand than in Spanish. I know Rome like the back of my hand. I lived there for seven years in the 80s, so I know Rome like the back of my hand. Conozco Roma como el dorso de la mano, decimos en inglés. And my question is, which side of your hand do you see more often? Which side of your hand do you see, on purpose or accidentally, more often? The back of your hand or the palm? Maybe the back. Maybe the back of your hand. I know Madrid like the back of my hand. Y aquí, the back of my hand, is rougher than the palm. The palm is smoother. This table is not smooth. The surface of this ceramic cup is very smooth. Smooth. Okay. The top of this microphone, the top of this microphone is very smooth. Yeah. But this is not smooth. Now, the texture of my shirt, my knit shirt, is, is not smooth. It's a little bit rough. Now, the skin on the inside of my forearm, fore armes antebrazo. Igual, igual que frente es fore head, forehead, ante cabeza, literalmente. It's smooth, okay? Now, to run, además de correr, is dirigir. Dirijo una empresa. I run a business. I run a company. Y las cosas andan bien. Things are running well. Es curioso, es, es extraño que en español utilicéis andar y en inglés correr. In Spanish, you say correr cuando vas muy rápido. No corras. Corres mucho en tu coche. Eh? But in English, no. To run. Correr mucho en coche is to drive fast. To speed. You speed a lot. To speed is ir por encima del de límite. But correr mucho en coche is to drive fast. It's very simple in English. Conducir rápido. To drive fast. Ahora, to run is funcionar o bien andar. ¿Cómo andan las cosas? Okay. Mi coche no anda bien. My car isn't running very well. Okay. Y las cosas no van bien. Things aren't running well. Things are running slowly. Okay. Y las cosas aquí, las cosas andan sin sobresaltos. Things are running smoothly. Como, un mar, como el mar en calma. Okay. The, the sea is not rough. Rough seas or turbulencias in el mar. Rough sea, mar bravo, or mar brava. Uh, rough seas, things are running smoothly. Smooth, smooth, okay, smooth. Rough, smooth, rough, smooth. In este caso, things are running smoothly. Pero curiosamente no decimos things are running roughly, para lo contrario. Decimos lo negativo. Things aren't running very smoothly. We're having some ups and downs. Yeah, altibajos, we're, o oh, sobresaltos, como dice aquí. We're having some problems. Pero, ahora ha llegado Morgan. Morgan has come to the company. We have a new employee. Y las ventas han subido de manera constante desde que Morgan se hizo cargo del departamento. Things, yes, the sales have risen steadily since Morgan took over. Yeah, since Morgan took over the department. To take over. I'm a little tired. Uh, could you take over for me for a few minutes? I need a rest. Listen, this program, this segment of the program is going to end in about 10 minutes. And uh, to tell you the truth, I don't feel very good. I feel a little nauseous. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to throw up. I feel like I'm going to throw up. I'm feeling nauseous. I'm, could you take over for me? Can, is, I, somebody needs to be here. The show must go on. Uh, can you take over for me? Can you take over? El for me sobra, porque si entiendes, me vas a sustituir a mí. Temporalmente, take over. Not to take over. Can you take over for me? 
Y en el caso de nuestro amigo Morgan, las ventas de ese departamento en particular han subido de, de modo constante desde que se hizo cargo del departamento. Sales have risen steadily since Morgan took over. Or since Morgan took over the department. Yes. Uh, the previous sales manager was not the best in the world. And sales were falling. Sales started falling about three years ago. And uh, the sales department suffered a steady decline in sales uh, because the uh, previous sales manager uh, first was not able to train salesmen to do a good job. Second, he was not able to manage the current sales force. They didn't like him. And, uh, and third, uh, he could not handle uh, the market situation. He didn't have good marketing, a good marketing overview of what was necessary. Now Morgan's in charge. Now Morgan is in charge. Está al mando nuestro amigo Morgan. Se hizo cargo del departamento el mes pasado. Perdona, el año pasado. He took over last year. September of last year. He took over. And despite the fact that this country is in a recession, sales have risen, sales have risen steadily since he took over. And uh, everybody's impressed. I'm the first person to be impressed. I didn't think he could do it. I was a skeptic. Fui un escéptico. I was a skeptic. When the general manager proposed Morgan as the replacement for Evans, I said, uh, Fred, do you really think Morgan can do a good job in sales? And Fred, the general manager, said, well, Evans certainly isn't doing a good job now. We need a change. Anything is better than Evans because sales are steadily declining. Las ventas están en un continuo declive. Going down and down and down. Sales are going down. They're not going up. They're going down. They're not going up. Fijaos en la contracción de they are. There. Como allí. There. ¿Dónde está Pepe? Está allí. He's over there. Okay. There. Pero también suena igual que la contracción de they are. Si yo quisiera decir, yo estoy aquí y ellos están allí, I'm here and they're there. Dos palabras que suenan igual. I'm here and they're there. You're there, I'm here, and they're there. Okay? Pero si hay referencia visual y esas dos personas están dentro de este, esta habitación, no diría they're there. Diría they're over there. Porque ambos, no les ves, over there, over there, next, next in the corner. Can't you see those two guys, Manolo and Pepe, they're over there. Okay? They're not here. They're not, they're not, they're not. Otra forma de hacer la contracción es they aren't. They aren't. Choose the one you like the best. They aren't, they're not. Just want to see they're not. They're not over there. They're over here. Okay, so sales have risen. Risen, el participio del verbo to rise. To rise is subir. Por fuerza propia normalmente, to rise. The sun rises in the east and it sets in the west. And the sun, when you look at the horizon at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, in, in Spain, 8 o'clock in the morning, if the, if the sky isn't cloudy or overcast, you can see the sun rise. And later in the afternoon, in the evening, you can see the sunset. Normally, the sunset is prettier than the sunrise. I don't know why, but I've seen several beautiful sunrises. But I've seen many beautiful sunsets, and I think the sunset is more beautiful than the sunrise. Uh, in Spain, the sun rises one hour later than in most countries, because Spain is located on Central European time. The, the uh, time in Italy is the same as the time in Spain. So Spain is one time zone off center. Spain should be in the same time zone as England, but it's not, okay? It's not. It's on the same time zone as Germany and Italy and Switzerland. Okay, so the sun sets. The sun rises later in Spain than in Italy. Really, this is true. If you're in Rome tomorrow morning, it's exactly the same time as in Madrid, 
and the sun will rise there at 7 o'clock and here at 8 o'clock. And if you're in Brindisi at the end of Italy or in Vigo at the other side of Spain, the sun will rise at 15 minutes to 7 in Brindisi and it will rise at 15 minutes past 8, an hour and a half later. And it's the same time, really. It's the same time by the clock. But the sun is rising at different times. Okay? And uh, that's because Spain enjoys the sunlight later in the evening. All right, pero, to rise, to rise. And the opposite of rise is to fall. Ahora, tratando es el sol, no, the to set. Pero en general, cuando algo sube, también baja. The rise and fall, rise and fall, rise and fall. Fijaos en la pronunciación de rise. Se escribe rise, y latina simple ahí. Rise and fall, rise and fall. The temperature rises and the temperature falls. In the summer, the temperatures rise. In the winter, the temperatures fall. During the autumn, the temper temperatures steadily fall. During the spring, the temperatures steadily rise with certain ups and downs along the way. The temperatures rise and fall, rise and fall. Ahora vamos a dos otros verbos. Raise and lower. Estos son verbos transitivos, lo cual significa que exigen un complemento directo para existir. Okay. To raise and to lower es cuando tú estás actuando o activando la subida o la bajada. I am going to, to raise this microphone. Watch. The microphone isn't rising. I'm raising it because I'm acting as an agent for the rising. Cuando algo sube por levitación pura, it's rising. Okay. Las ventas han subido. Parece que las ventas simplemente como la espuma han subido. They, the sales have risen, but really, the company has raised the sales. Now, el hacer subir y hacer bajar is to raise and to lower. For example, if you are the king, and I am the drawbridge operator, and I see you coming to the castle, I will lower the drawbridge. I won't raise the drawbridge because you'll cut off my head. Drawbridge. Bridge is un puente. Drawbridge is puente levadizo. Y si yo soy el operador del puente levadizo del castillo. If I, I live in the castle, and my job is to raise the drawbridge or to lower the drawbridge depending on the circumstances. So, if you are the king and you're coming on your horse with your court, all right, and you're coming, uh, very quickly I'm going to lower the drawbridge so the king and his court can enter the castle. Once the king and the, have entered and all the people, then I raise the drawbridge, okay? To raise, to lower, to raise, to lower, okay? Ahora los precios suben y bajan. Parece que casi por sí solos a veces. They rise and fall. Rise and fall. Ray, rise es cuando se sube por sí solo. Rise. Raise. A, como la primera letra del alfabeto inglés. Raise. A. Raise. Es cuando activas la subida. Ok. So, las, aquí, las ventas han subido. The sales have risen. Steadily. De, de manera constante. Paulatina, pausada. Steady. Ready, steady, go. Eso es una forma de decir, de decir, listos, ya. Ok, ready. Ready means listo. Steady means inmovilizado en espera. Ready, steady, go. With your English, ok. Y steadily de manera constante. Boom, 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 boom. Desde que Morgan se hizo cargo. Since Morgan took over. I feel better now. You don't need to take over for me, okay? You don't need to take over for me. And besides, the class is over. The time is up. Yes, I can go home now and rest and take it easy because I don't have to come back to this television studio until tomorrow. Okay. But in the meantime, in the meantime, in the meantime, mientras tanto, 
the legal college program at Cassie. In the meantime, study. Okay? Okay.